Hey everybody, David DuFord here at DuFord Insurance Group, where we train agents to be successful in final expense face-to-face -face and telesales. I'm here with an agent that's been working with us for a little bit. His name is Alec, and he is here to give us a little perspective on his experience selling final expense face-to-face. -face. So Alec, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Can't thank you enough, Mr. David yeah, man. It's good to have you. And thanks for being willing to do this. So if you don't mind, give us a little background on yourself and, and how you ended up uh, in the insurance business to begin with. So just about a year ago, I uh, I was looking into sales because I, I realized, you know, it was kind of what you put in is what you get out. Um, I started at a, a retail uh, cell phone store. Um and um, during that period, someone had reached out to me to work at um, in an insurance agency. I won't say the name, but it uh, starts with an F. Um, and um, that was around in July of 2022. Yeah, I got licensed and I started up around August. And it was a tell-sell situation. Uh, it was a, it was a really good experience, uh, but there just wasn't enough mentoring, and, and uh, there wasn't really any guidance besides just having a good script. And it was a uh, an interesting situation. It was like drinking from a water hose. And uh, of course, now you sell face to face with us, because and, and the reason I bring this up is because one of the decisions agents have to make when they first get started is do I sell over the phone or do I sell face to face? And you've kind of been in both arenas. Can you give us kind of a, your personal experience on what the differences are between telesales and face to face, like the pros and cons? Uh, telesales, um, to me, I just didn't like the impersonality of it. Uh, not being able to see somebody and kind of uh, display conviction and just uh, letting them kind of know what you were really doing and why you were doing it. It's just, I'm more of a people person and kind of being in front of people and really being able to show that I care. It was something that was important to me. So did you feel like the, the, the going, the sales process over the phone was more difficult then because you couldn't make that personal connection? Um, definitely a little bit. Uh, it was definitely a learning curve for me. Um, and just really kind of, I just knew that right when I got in there, I kind of knew that face to face was more of something for me and that I would have a lot more success inside of that kind of genre. Right. hundred percent. And that's an important thing for you all out there. If you're looking to get into the insurance business, whether it's final expense or something else, you need to decide, are you best suited for face to face or telesales, right? Because both avenues work. It's just what works best for you. Right. And that's kind of a discovery process you want to absolutely go through. You also mentioned the, the mentorship and coaching aspect um, as being something that's missing. And of course, what we do at the Ford Insurance Group, we're heavy on the mentorship. We're heavy on the coaching. Can you kind of describe to the audience what kind of impact mentorship training with David Heath, our face-to-face -face broker agent uh, trainer, has had on your ability to sell? Um, I would say it is um, almost a part of everything that is – has kind of really helped me out. I haven't been in sales for very long, so I knew it was kind of a leap coming into it and having somebody by your side to help you uh, practice, to kind of give you that constructive criticism, to generally just have someone when you're on your dark days. It's, it's pretty, it's absolutely, uh, it changes the whole game to be perfectly honest, to have someone who is, uh, a master of their craft, let's say, um, like the old guild to have someone that is yeah. actually able to know what they're doing and, and walk you along the path as you should be. Yeah, I, 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 you use the term guild, and that's exactly how I think of what we do. You know, the olden days, you know, you would learn from a master craftsman and you would tenure under them and you learn the business of whatever it is you're doing. And uh, we, we kind of do that, I guess you could say, with our mentorship program. I think that's a, a perfect way to describe it. Um, and, and that's the thing, I think, with a, with a sales game. It's a performance uh, uh, activity, much like a sport. And, of course, nobody here would debate that it's unimportant to not have a coach if you have aspirations in any sport. And so sales is very much like that. Um, can you take us through what it was like 
in that first week? Because we do one-on-one mentorship twice a day. What were you doing specifically with David uh, that you felt was most beneficial as far as role-playing, script development, et cetera? Uh, just really just hammering down on the script and just seeing where my holes were and, and mainly just you know, the huge part is, of course, going to be rebuttals and learning how to uh, close. And, and and generally just every little part is important. You know, uh, before I joined in, in February, uh, during January, I was just, you know, I had I had already seen your uh, website and I joined the ISS and mm-hmm. I was just, you know, I printed out all the stuff and I was just trying to get prepared and just go through the script every day. It's all I did. Awesome. Um, getting all my materials ready, you know, preparation was really key for me to make sure that I had all my ducks in a row to feel good about myself as I went out. Um, and really just having that material and having that guidance to know what to have. It was huge. It really was. Yeah. And I'll, I'll mention this for the audience. So what Alex talking about is, is our insurance sales success website. It's a totally free website, no charges whatsoever. You don't have to even join us as, as an agent in our agency to get it. It's at davidduford.com forward slash ISS. We give out our script for free, guys. So what Alec did, and, and this is in part why he's very successful at this business, is that he took initiative before he even started to take this stuff seriously, you know? And uh, that's what we're looking for in agents is our people who, you know, will take advantage of the opportunity that's there and and take the extra step, which, of course, is what Alex uh, Alex has done. And also, I'm sure David would reinforce that, too. Um, being very coachable is a very important thing. Um, last thing here to hit on here before we wrap it up, Alec, is, you know, I always like to get perspective from the new agent on, you know, what the business is like and then tips that you would give to those agents out there who are brand new to the business. Can you kind of give some agents who are aspiring to sell final expense in person just a couple of tips of advice to make sure they get the best results out of their efforts? Uh First thing I would say is to uh, make sure your car is ready for it. (laughs) And uh, after that, it's, it's, it's just generally um, be prepared, be prepared for any situation. Make sure that, you know, you always are putting your best foot forward. Anytime you go up to someone's door, they don't know exactly who you are. So you really want to come off a certain way and you want to make sure that, you know, you, you have really gone through your, you know, you're scripting and, and making sure that you can understand everyone is different and you have to be able to move on the fly and uh, make sure that no matter what they say, you have something to say back. Uh, practice the business, you know, really look into it and make sure that you're comfortable with, with what you're about to do. It's all about helping the people. And if, if you're not really... Um, willing to make that sacrifice to take care of them, no matter what the situation is, no matter how they might come off at first, you'd be surprised how nice people really actually are. Once you, once you get in and you uh, sit down and, you know, make sure you, you look around, give them a few compliments. Everyone deserves that Uh, a smile and a nod. uh, It's just something that you should always be looking to do for people. And, And if, as long as you take that mentality into it, people will understand uh, that you're there to help them and, and they'll be willing to listen and they'll be willing to take that help because that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's awesome advice. And, you know, you want to act as if and reciprocate back. People tend to be pretty nice if you act nice towards them. Right. You know, so, and sometimes people put on, have a put on to begin with and then it all kind of goes away, <laughs> you know? So that's cool, man. All right. Well, Alec, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate your perspective and, and, and thank you so much for, being a hardworking agent, getting out there and and making sales. Uh, I know David, if he was here, had some technical difficulties. Uh, He would appreciate and show appreciation. I know I certainly do. And uh, guys, if you're out there watching this, you're interested in learning more about joining the Ford Insurance Group, just head over to davidduford.com. Make sure to check out the testimonial section, the FAQ section, to learn more about what we're looking for in an agent. And then you can apply and uh, get an interview with us. So uh, thanks again, Alec, and hope you have a good day. And real quick, I just want to say, you know, I really appreciate everything you guys have done. Uh, the success I've had this month, it's it's changed my life. Uh, just being able to see what you can do and, and what you put in is what you'll get back. Uh, it's all about the activity. If you go out there and you, 
you nonstop just move and move and move and, and keep knocking those doors and keep making those calls, you'll find success. You'll find success in inactivity. As long as you're out there really willing to do the work and not just sit on your phone or something like that, dial down, dial down. That's, that's what will get you there. Awesome, Alec. Hey, that's that's timeless advice, and hope you guys out there take it. All right, thanks, man. Thank you.